it's funny, I did just get through doing um, the ABMA Veterinary Leadership Conference. I was a, a keynote speaker for that, and um, I think the biggest thing I gained from that is that our stories are powerful, and our stories need to be told. The future of veterinary medicine being a more diverse, inclusive profession will look a lot more accepting. We look around and we'll see more differences, not just in ethnicities, uh, but how people get to present themselves, how people align themselves, um, sexual orientation, and being uh, more representative of our population. It makes my day completely when, in those stressful situations, I get to have a client that is African American uh, because that's not something they see too often. And the amount of security I'm able to give them, uh, you know, it's always emotional. And sometimes you find yourself emotional just about little things because they're like, wow, I didn't know I could speak with someone who looks like me through this most stressful time. And you understand me, you understand our culture, and you're, we're not being judged. And so, I think that's a truly beautiful thing and where I work I do get to have this kind of interaction probably at least like once a week or so but it always touches me and, and make, lets me know that I'm in the right, um, I'm where I'm supposed to be.